Into the back row. Set to the far side, and that misses wide. So the dogs have tied it up 19-19, and so that answers our question as to whether or not Georgia can dig out of what was at one point a three-point hole. They've done it. Tie game, flat-footed serve from Clark. Katnack back setting near side. Great dig by Teets. Kept up in the center. Dilla hammers it through the triple block. Coach McCartney wanted the carry called. Won't get it. May rolls it over from the near side. Pass far side for Hendrickson, and Hendrickson gets it to fall. And that's one of the examples there of the team being out of sorts, getting the point. Duke did not look comfortable at all on defense. Probably should have been whistled for the carry or the double touch off of Dilla's attempt. But Duke recovered and won the point. It's 20 to 19 Blue Devils. Gates setting near side for May. Goes over the double block into the back corner. Katnack sets far side. Hendrickson is blocked back and it touched her on the way out. So point for Georgia, we're tied at 20. Want to remind you folks that there is a 10 minute intermission in between games two and game three. Stick with us, we've got plenty of programming for you during the break. Morgan Taylor is standing by on the court. She's gonna have a conversation with Joel McCartney as he heads to the locker room following this one, hoping for the dogs that it'll be a 1-1 split in games. Georgia has taken back the lead at 21-20. And Georgia is four points away from knotting this match up at one game apiece. Duke took the first game 25-19. And Georgia on top right now 21-20. And in two years, one of the largest crowds I have seen here at the Ramsey Center. And for opening weekend, there's no other show in town. In fact, uh, volleyball is competing with soccer up the road on Millage Avenue. Taking on Florida Atlantic, the Soccer Dogs leading 2-0 at halftime against the Owls of Florida Atlantic. No football home game in town and a couple of uh, G extra covered sports here, soccer and volleyball, and very well in attendance to this point this year. A great showing from the Georgia faithful at the Ramsey Center. 21-20 coming out of the Duke timeout, the first time that Georgia or the second time that Georgia has forced Duke's hand in calling the timeout. Duke took one down 8-3, so the Blue Devils are out of timeouts in this second game. Georgia has one left. Carla Teets, the libero, serving for the Dogs. Good low serve, and Duke can't return it. Great serving right at the libero. That's Smallser, the best defensive player out on the floor for Duke, wearing that opposite colored uniform, and she couldn't come up with the dig. Phenomenal serve by Teets. Now 22 to 20, Georgia leading. Teets misses long. And that was somewhat of a bugaboo for her as a freshman in that time. Just had a bit too much underneath it. 22-21, Georgia with the one point lead. Serving is Burling. Back set for Gonzalez who came around on the quick. Gonzalez comes back at the middle and actually out -leapt Gates for the point. Georgia back up by two. They need two to close it out. And even better for them, they get number 14, Brianna Barr, back on the floor in the rotation. Formidable up front. It's May, Gonzalez, and Barr. Gates serving into the back row. Pass to the far side from Katnack. Blocked back. Duke peels it off the net. The Bolo pass won't go for Smallzer. And it's game point, Georgia, 24 to 21. Kathleen Gates, the sophomore, back to serve. Georgia fans on their feet, dug out in the back row. Katnack, quick set to the near side. Great dig by Clark. Gates to the near side for May. Kept in on the back row by the Blue Devils. Pass over, dug out by Clark. Gates back setting, Barr gets it to dry. The lefty kill ends game number two and Georgia bounces back from the 25-19 loss. They'll take game number two by a 25-21 score. And we are all even going into intermission. A reminder, Maria Taylor is standing by courtside to talk with head coach Joel McCartney and a phenomenal showing there for the Dogs. You mentioned they dropped the first two games of the Georgia Tech match before coming back to take the next two and send it to a fifth game. 
This time they wasted no time. After dropping the first, they come back immediately with the equalizer and take game number two by a 25-21 score.